Hey everyone, I'm here today again with my friend Grace. We're gonna do another Angelina makeover, her look from the Tourist Poster. The movie comes out in December, and I'm super excited to do it. We're gonna get going. It's a really nice, uh, sultry, smoky eye look, really good for the holidays, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm just putting on uh, some Smashbox Foundation Primer. It's gonna help all the makeup stay on. Keep it nice and smooth for the foundation. I'm going to put some concealer under Grace's eyes with a little concealer brush. And then I'm gonna blend that in with a sponge. I'm using a foundation called Photo Ready by Revlon. And it's a really nice foundation, uh, great for photos. It reflects the lighting, and this shade is vanilla. And I'm just using my makeup sponge to blend that all in. And always make sure you bring it under the jawline. I'm just dusting a loose, translucent powder, just to take a bit of the shine away. Doing a really light coverage of it. I don't want to cake up the foundation. The first eye color that I'm going to put on up in the eyebrow area is from this L'Oreal Quad and it's called, the quad's called Neutrals and this is uh, just sort of like a vanilla color and then I'm just going to bring a little bit down into the corner of the eye there. I like that highlight there. Now I'm using the darkest brown from that palette and that's why I like to use eyeshadow to do the eyebrows. You can use an eyebrow kit, it's pretty similar, a little bit greasier. This I find stays on longer and it's just you don't make as many mistakes with an eyeshadow. And I'm going to fill in Grace's eyebrows so they're a little bit darker to match Angelina's. They've got, already got a great shape so it's not a lot of work. Now this part's pretty easy. I'm taking this um, third brown color here and it's just going to go all over the eyelid just right up into the crease and you can wing it out just a bit in the corner here. We're going to use some darker brown there after but this is going to cover the whole eyelid right down to the lash line. Now I'm using a black coal eyeliner and you don't have to be super careful with this application because I'm going to use it to smoke out the lid a bit. But just right along the lash line. This one is by L'Oreal. It's called Pencil Perfect. And I like it because it smudges well. So I'm just going to dab it on. It's not a perfect application. Now I'm going to blend out that line and I've dipped my brush in this dark brown that's in this Smashbox Trio and it's sort of a uh, ashy dark brown. Help me set my eyeliner. And now I'm taking that darkest brown in the palette and I'm just going to smoke it out in the corner here a bit. So I'm doing it right in the crease here and just extending it out. Adding a little bit more definition there. And use the eyeliner a bit too. So we've got some nice, not super, super long false eyelashes. And put them nice and close to the eye line. And then, once that's just about dry, I'm doing a really thin line of liquid eyeliner. Any kind will do. This is a dark black. Now I'm using Smashbox's Bionic Mascara underneath to match up Grace's eyelashes. And this is in a dark black. I'm lining Grace's waterline with a brown coal, and this one is by Lancome. Everything in this look is brown on the bottom. 
And then we're going with this dark brown eyeshadow under the eye. And the brown that I put on the waterline will blend down into it as well. And we're taking it right to the corner. And then some mascara on the bottom lashes. I just wipe my wand off a bit so it's not too clumpy. So I'm gonna put a little bit of a highlight on the top of Grace's cheekbone, just to really make them pop out. This is just with my Smashbox blush and highlighting kit that I've shown you guys before. To define the cheeks, I'm gonna use my fan brush again, and I'm using this nice peachy color that she's got on. And we're really gonna follow that cheekbone line just underneath where I put the highlight on. So a little bit on the apple with the fan brush this way and then turn it sideways and bring it right up into the hairline in the temple. I have a bit of gloss on Grace. Just a clear, a little bit shimmery gloss. And I'm putting on a lipstick by Revlon called Vintage Pink. This is the color that she has on pretty much from the trailer throughout most of the trailer. And in the poster, it's a light, light pink. So there we have the poster look and the look that uh, in the trail from the trailer anyways that she has quite a bit with the pink lips. And we've got a wig on Grace, which I think really completes it. Did a bit of work on that. Thank you so much, Grace. We are going to turn this into an evening look with just a change of lipstick and an updo. So Grace is gonna patiently let us do that. And that's awesome. Thank you, Grace. Thank you. Awesome. Mm -hmm.